Boy, she's moving up in the world. She got a Cadillac. Corey traded his bike for it. Dalton, I'm riding home. In front seat. Okay. Oh, hey, Fisky. That's not hey, Fisky. That's Pickles. I mean, hey, Pickles. Hey, Pickles. Oh, no. So, I figured it out. My daughter is going to be about glamping. Oh, really? I'm short for my age. Wait, Wait am I taller than that? Am I taller than that? She's short for her age. She's 24. Yeah. <laughs> Papa, you're weird. But I love you for it. Yeah, I'm so cool. I'm a bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm used to her. I can't. <laughs> I can't get back up. <laughs> Brooke's fixing to fly. After about a week and a half of waiting, there's some of the geese that you find out here a lot. <laughs> Poor Pickles. He's on his cable again. He don't like that much, but he's got actually a lot of freedom on it. Even though he tangles himself on just about anything. Up here and, and it's dead. Nope. Most regular people don't go camping in the snow. Only dummies like us. Only dumb dumbs like us. Yeah, it should be snowing like this early. Well, they already got snow in Wyoming. Wyoming. 
when you score. They, but it's early, like a month early.
out of here tomorrow. Donna should be coming by with the kids today. We got Jackie in there sleeping right now. We're gonna have us a little cookout. Maybe walk down here to the beach and get some swimming in. Been a pretty fun time down here. Well, up here in Oklahoma, I guess you call it. But you can definitely tell the season's about ended over here. You can hear the hunters as soon as the sun starts cracking over the horizon. And start to get cool in the mornings. Deer coming out a little more. Just the usual signs. Summer's winding down. <coughs> Boy, it sure was fun up here. Makes my heart sing having the kids and getting out, seeing a little bit more of the country, even if it's just from Texas to Oklahoma. We're going to go out and do some more. I think from here we're going to, we're going to head back to the house in Texas. Do a little bit of clean up on the RV. Got to get the propane tank filled back up. This is the first time I've actually managed to empty it. So right now all we got is the little two burner st stove with the bottle. Which is fine. It's okay. The only thing we're doing without right now is a water heater. And it ain't cold enough to to worry about hot water for the shower. Hummingbirds are all but gone. I see one maybe twice a day. So, yeah, end of the season. Now it's time to start thinking about winterizing the RV. I'm on. I'm gonna spray foam the underside of it. At least the at least the panels, anyhow. And the floor panels, uh, the sides, stuff like that, and start thinking about repainting. I might actually even think about replacing some of these panels on the side of the RV, reskin this thing. Thinking about it, it'll be easier done just cut the old ones off and make new ones. I can pick up fiberglass panels at uh, Sutherland's for just a couple of dollars. But uh, I'm looking forward to today. And I may have seemed a little grumpy here in the last day or two. merry-go-round that the kids love so much here on this playground. I managed to dislocate my shoulder again. And if you've ever had a shoulder out of socket, understand how much that, that might hurt just a little bit. And it takes a, takes a few days to get past that but for all the fun I've had with these kids a little bit of pain's worth it <laughs> I'll be all right I apologize if I've been short with anybody doesn't mean I don't love you it's just a sign that the old man's hurt Anyhow, one more.
one more day of filming and I'll get this posted for y'all. It's been a magical experience up here. I love it. Shay loves it. Pickles even likes it. Talk to y'all later. Love you. I don't